everyone welcome back to my channel i wanted to share this moment with you guys i'm actually going to buy my first nft i'm buying a soul sand piece of land uh, which is in these soul sand things here let me just start this video by saying i, I don't recommend anyone buy nfts it's not what this video is about i don't care if you buy nfts i don't care what cryptocurrencies you buy etc etc that's not my aim here i just wanted to share this moment with someone because <laughs> i've got no one to share it with basically uh but yeah i'm gonna buy an nft i'm probably gonna buy one of the cheapest ones because solano is quite expensive but effectively what i'm buying i may as well show you guys what i'm buying because i guess it will make for an interesting video so if i go on soul sand on google and i click here we can see that each of these soul sands are going to be a piece of land in this game which or world i should say it's not really a game i don't think which will be released at the end of 2022 and what does this actually give me so this is already done soul sand has now been launched unfortunately because i didn't know anything about nfts i missed the first mint there is a generation 2 mint and also soul sand will mint in two drops of 2500 each and it will be done to people who are currently holding one of these nfts so okay that that might be confusing if you're following me so far and if you're interested in this then definitely keep watching but my logic here basically i've been doing a lot of research about this and i may as well tell you my logic and I think I have to say this isn't financial advice, which it's not. I already said that, but whatever. Um, something like this, which is only two Solano at the moment, if this game becomes popular in the future, there are only ever going to be 10,000 of these. And they will give you unique benefits within the world or game, which in five years could have a lot of value to a specific person. Um, and... Decentraland and also Sandbox, the same thing is worth three or four Ethereum, which if you know the price of Ethereum, let's so Ethereum, USD, Ethereum is currently 2.7 thousand. So yeah, they're being sold for like huge amounts and I just think it would be beneficial for me as someone who is kind of enjoying this space and getting into this space. I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to buy one of these NFTs, okay? I think what I'm going to do in this video as well is I'm going to talk about another NFT which I'm going to sign up for, which is free to sign up for. It's another Solano and it's actually being made by G2. It's called Samurai Warriors and NFT. And I actually was not interested in this at all until I saw something very, very interesting. Okay, Carlos, who owns G2, if you ever see this video, please get in touch with me because someone needs to improve your SEO. Uh, yeah, basically, this is actually being made by G2, which for me is very, very exciting and very, very interesting because, uh, yeah, I, I'm actually a G2 fan. I watch, I watch Professional League of Legends. I love their team. Uh, I think that their company is pretty, pretty intelligent. And just to register, you don't actually have to pay anything. So you do have to connect your Solana wallet and etc. But there will be free NFT mintings for people who do these three steps, which I'm going to do now. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I don't really know. I've done a decent amount of research about NFTs. And what I will say is be incredibly careful. Like even in Soul Sand, for example, I'm not 100% sure if Soul Sand will ever do anything. But I do. I've, I, I think I feel like I've done enough research, and I feel like they probably will make a decent game at least. But G two, G two are a huge gaming company, and this Samurai Army thing will potentially become a really, really good game. They've got really good graphics. Carlos, who owns G two, is a dreamer. He's, he thinks big, and yeah, I, I would love to be part of it, honestly. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign up for this, guys. I'm not even going to say sign up yourselves. I'm just going to share this process with you and I'll probably make a video if this one, another video if this one does well. But yeah, just for people who are confused about how to actually do this, I may as well give some technical instructions as well. Um, 
for Solano, they use Phantom Wallet, which I think... I'm 99% sure is made by Solano themselves, or at least it's backed by Solano or Solana. Solana for me, it seems like a pretty decent company. Honestly, they seem to, you know, they seem to know what they're doing. Honestly, so you click download here, and then you can choose whichever browser you want. I'm definitely going to check out Brave as well because they actually pay you for watching adverts, which again is super interesting. A lot. A lot of people think that crypto and these kind of things are a scam because they give you free money. But all they're doing is reversing the monetization so that more of the monetization is in the hands of the creators instead of being in the hands of like big, big companies, which is what decentralization is, if you think about it. So Brave as well. I'm, I'm probably going to look take a look at Brave and I'm probably going to probably going to start using it because they they pay you in uh, attention token which is pretty interesting. Anyway, at the moment I'm using Chrome, so just download it for whatever you want. And then you, yeah, you basically, you have a wallet on your Chrome um, forever. I think that's how it works. Uh, and at the moment my Solano is staked, so you can't see it here because I'm staking it, but I've just unstaked it and I'm gonna use it to buy a Soul Sand just because I think the returns will be better because I'm not, I don't have a lot of money uh, to actually invest. It's only about $200. Um, so in my opinion, the, the better investment is just to buy like a risky NFT for like an offshoot Solana NFT game and just, yeah, just kind of pray, I guess. But yeah, if, uh, if, if you're curious, I've been doing a lot of research uh, for the company I work for about NFTs and also um, metaverses and like one piece of land here on the central land for example is like the minimum price this is low to high is 4.5 ethereum just let just let that sink in for a moment 4.55 ethereum to usd so it's yeah it's twelve thousand dollars is the minimum price for a piece of land on Decentraland. And Sandbox as well. If you guys are curious about this kind of thing, I'm also thinking of making a game on Sandbox uh, for a competition that they're running because I'd quite like to just yeah, make a game. I think that sounds fun, honestly. So if you guys want to see that, then definitely let me know in the comments as well. I'm really excited by this, but I just don't know how engaged my, my audience is with it. Uh, but yeah, minimum price on Sandbox is 3.6. I actually think Sandbox has a uh, better chance of, be of being bigger in the future. And a lot of big companies agree as well. So another really interesting thing you can do, just like if you're curious, you can go on Google and type in Sandbox uh, map and it will actually take you to the map and you can see already like... <laughs> the difference in prices compared to where they are, if that makes sense. So let me just show you what I mean. So this is the, the central area, and just in the central areas, there is The Walking Dead, and there is also Gucci here, and Joe Rogan here, this is Joe Rogan. Yeah, it's just crazy, guys, honestly. And it's the, the, the craziest thing about Sandbox. Okay, this blows my mind. This is some next level type of advertising. They're selling for minimum $10,000 if you look at it that way. Or you can say 3.5 Ethereum, whatever. Um, the game isn't, it's not even in beta. It's only had an alpha test. One alpha test. They plan to do another alpha test, which I'm going to participate in. Um, and then they're going to do a beta, which I'll probably try and participate in. And I'm trying to get myself a piece of land. And it hasn't even been released. And look at the prices. It's crazy, guys. Honestly, it's definitely worth a punt if you don't have a lot of money to work with. Maybe you can uh, play some of the, uh, get involved in some of the games or some of the communities. For Sandbox, for example, you can make uh, games, and if people play it, it's like Robl uh, Roblox, basically. Metaverse and Decentraland are at, they're basically just Roblox, which is really interesting as well. It's just Roblox on the, on the blockchain. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that you find this interesting, and I'll probably keep making videos about this if it does well. Just be extremely careful, because there are definitely some scam companies out there. I saw a YouTube, I was looking at, um, 
I was looking at a NFT game earlier, a release, it hadn't been released yet. It was called like Cyber Box or something. And I was thinking about buying one because I got really excited by reading all their um, advertising. But I went on one of their YouTube videos and every single comment was a bot. And I was just like, mm, probably a scam. But yeah, Samurai Army, I'm gonna check it out because it's G2 and I just love G2. Peace out guys.